very interesting and I would say unusual market that we're experiencing right now here locally in and around Salt Lake City along the Wasatch Front as the 2022 market begins to take its own shape. And um, to, to quote my brother, rock star agent here, he's just, he just said this this morning, just resonated with me. He said, you know what, the market just feels an awfully lot, is starting to feel an awfully lot, like spring 2021, meaning insanely hot competitive seller's market like we've never seen before, starting to really feel like that. And um, I crunched some numbers for you about what we're seeing out there locally right now. Um, do see the blog post uh, posted below. Uh, but to give a little bit of a, to paint a picture of what we've seen in the last year, last spring, I think like February to July, we saw and experienced just the hottest seller's market that I think we've ever experienced. I've been doing this for 12 years now. I've never seen anything like it, but we saw that last February through July and we saw significant, maybe significant is too strong of a word, but steadily normalizing marketplace uh, from about last July to early this last November. Once we hit that point in early November, inventory began to really plummet and quickly from that high point that we hit to a near record low again just after New Year's. And demand indicators, meaning how many homes are under contract, how many sold in the last 30 days, remained relatively constant. Now, since the beginning of the year, we saw a slight increase in inventory to use Salt Lake County as the example, 10%, which is less of an increase than it sounds when you start at around 400 units, in the first week of the month. And then in this last week, actually inventory decreased slightly. slightly. Was expecting to see significant increases, that is not what we're seeing. So supply that is at a record low, near record low, very, very constrained. And over the last two weeks, mortgage rate fluctuations that I'm sure you followed with that significant spike in mortgage rates, which of course affects affordab affordability drastically, massively increased demand is increasing demand, meaning to kind of put it the way I've been thinking about it, any savvy buyer who's thinking about buying in the next three, six, 12 months is getting off the fence and they're doing it right now when they're considering what's so likely to happen that it's nearly a certainty in mortgage rates over the next little bit, affecting affordability and affordability, and also affecting affordability, the near certain probability that home values are going to significantly appreciate in the near term. Um, but anyways, as always, anything that I can do to help you, um, even if it's just small questions, even if you would just like to have a casual conversation about how to most effectively navigate this marketplace, do feel free to reach out anytime.